So uh, today we will look at an interesting sorting algorithm which is the quick sort algorithm. So there are two implementation of quick sort algorithm. The first one is the recursive implementation and the second one which we discuss is the iterative implementation. So that we will discuss in our next video but in this video we will focus on the recursive implementation. So let's assume this is an array to be sorted using this quick sort algorithm then first of all we need to choose a pivot element so the general choice for the pivot element is the last element we choose 8 as the pivot element then we look at each element one by one and check whether it is greater than this pivot element 8 so first we will look at 9 then 3 then 2 or smaller than it so we will check each element whether it is greater than it or is it smaller than it that's our task next thing we want to keep smaller elements to the left of 8 and the greater ones to the right of 8 so uh, finally at the end of this partition what our aim is our aim is to place the greater elements to the right of 8 and the smaller elements to the left of 8 so let's look at this algorithm how it works so guys uh, as we look at all the elements one by one we maintain two pointers or we can say yeah two indexes we maintain so first index is the index of the current element that is the current element which we are examining examining means we are just checking whether it is greater than pivot element or is it less than pivot element so that is examining so and the other point so this pointer is pretty straight forward so the other pointer is a bit complex let us see what this pointer means priv so its name is a bit misleading and it doesn't imply anything actually we can choose any arbitrary name i have choose priv you can choose anything else a b c d anything else okay so this priv points to the following let us see from all the elements examined till now so let us say our current is here so we have already examined this bunch of elements that is sorry this bunch of elements we have already examined and now we are examining this element we are here our current is here okay this is our current so from all the elements examined till now that is from L L indicates the lower index so this is L let us name this L so this is a lower index to the current element this is the current element so from here to here all the elements which are already examined the LHS has elements less than pivot and the RHS has elements greater than pivot so this is our left hand side and this is our RHS so these are all the elements which are less than 8 and these are all the elements which are greater than 8 okay so if we consider this portion if we name this portion as LHS and this portion as RHS then the last element of LHS is pointed to by our priv pointer so our priv pointer points this last element of LHS so how it points to the last element why it points to the last element those are questions yet to be answered we will see why it's required but for now I think you understood this is the current element being examined these are elements already being examined we if we partition them in LHS and RHS 
we name these two sections and the last element of LHS that is our pointing to cool that is LHS finishing point okay so let's say we are in middle of the algorithm our current is here and the current element encountered is greater than 8 let us say the current element maybe we encounter is 15 so this is the case 1 this one we are considering this case okay so if the new current element encountered is 15 that is greater than the pivot element then our RHS portion becomes this one now 18 9 16 and 5 it expands by 1 and the LHS portion remains the same so priv uh, points to the end of LHS so priv remains where it is priv is still here and now we have examined 15 also so our current will progress by one step so that is current plus plus that's all now con let's consider case 2 case 2 is a bit involved let's see what it means uh, if we can if we encounter an element which is less than the pivot element that is for example let us take 5 so 5 is a part of LHS so now we somehow want to take this 5 to LHS okay so how we will do this let us see let us see how we take this 5 to the LHS so current element encountered is less than such as 5 okay so first step is priv plus plus that is we increment this priv and take it here so now our priv is pointing to this 18 cool so we swap 18 with 5 that is priv and current so priv is now here and current is here we swap both of them so 5 comes here 18 comes here so our array looks something like this now 5 comes here 18 comes here this is after swapping okay now our LHS portion has expanded by 1 so its size in increase increases by 1 and our RHS portion is now this one where the 18 comes here and it's still in the RHS so and as we know the first step was to increment priv so priv is priv plus plus that is priv moves one step forward so priv is here so which is true actually because priv should be here actually because priv points to the end of LHS so that's correct and these elements are already examined so th we move current by one step further okay so let us see what three steps we did we first incremented priv from here to here then we swapped these two elements 18 and 5 and then we incremented current that is current plus plus so finally what we obtain this is these are the three actions we perform and what we obtained is our LHS is this our RHS is this and priv is pointing at the end of LHS current is pointing to the current element so everything is in place so I hope you understood this second case also um, now let's uh, take an example to better understand this algorithm how it is working so this is a sample run on the data which we considered so uh, priv is here initially current is here so we see uh, current is greater than pi watt that is 8 so we just 
increment current and current points to now now points to 3 cool now we see 3 is less than 8 so we now need to do three steps we first increment priv now priv points to 9 then we swap priv and current swap the elements pointed to by priv and current so 9 comes here 3 comes here cool and the third step is we move current by one step so this is what we obtain so this is our LHS now and this is our RHS both consist of one element each so now our current is here 2 is still less than 8 so we need to do three steps that is this falls in the case 2 so we move priv by one step we exchange the elements pointed by priv and current that is 9 and 2 so 2 comes here 9 comes here and we move current one step further we get this thing so LHS size becomes 2 RHS is still 1 so current is here so 24 24 is greater than 8 we just increment current current comes here RHS size expands okay cool now let us see minus 1 is the element minus 1 is less than 8 so we need to do 3 steps again priv incremented by 1 9 and minus 1 exchanged or swept current increments so LHS expands by 1 so 3 to minus 1 are all the contents of our LHS and these two are the RHS elements so and current is here so 16 is still greater than 8 so we just uh, current plus plus and the size of RHS expands by 1 cool so again 59 is greater than 8 current plus plus size of RHS expands by 1 cool again 20 greater than 8 size of RHS again expands by 1 current plus plus so finally we have reached the pivot element so what we want to do is we want to place the pivot element between LHS and RHS so what we do is we increment priv we increment current also priv plus plus current plus plus and we just swap priv and current so 24 comes here 8 comes here so 24 comes here 8 comes here now this is our LHS this is our RHS and 8 is sitting in middle of both of them <coughs> so 8 is <coughs> 8 is sitting in its right place so and these elements should be in left of 8 and these should be in right of 8 but <coughs> these elements itself are not yet sorted so 9 16 20 24 and 59 this should be the order of these elements then we are fine and these elements are also not sorted minus 1 2 3 should be the order of these elements so now we need to sort these elements so these are two sub problems so we want to sort this array starting here and ending here so how to sort we recursively call quick sort itself to sort these elements cool so and in this one also we recursively call quick sort so if you ask me the um, the code for it if quick sort